Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Miniverse unboxing. Today we have got MGA's Miniverse Make It Mini Appliances Series 1. Now, there are four different types of appliances that you can get that each come in two color varieties. So, first up, we have our Espresso Make It Mini appliance. It shows you everything you get in here. You get enough to make two of each, and it comes in either this teal or this kind of bubblegum pink. Now, it will say which one it is on the packaging. In addition, it will show which one it is on the actual uh, wrapper. Unlike some of the holiday ones, where it's the Make It Mini, and it just says it on the second wrapper. These will say it on the exterior wrapper and the second wrapper. So we have the espresso machine. We have the soda fountain, which comes in lemon lime or orange soda, and it also has an ice dispenser. Kind of cool. And it'll say soda here on the side. Right there. There's also a boba tea station. Very cool. And that comes in either the uh, purple or the peach. And again, it'll say boba over here on the interior wrapper. And the last one is the juice fountain which is kind of a combination of the soda and the boba from the way it looks like it, because it looks like it's the same dispenser as the milk tea, but instead of having the sticker roller, it has an ice fountain. So that's kind of interesting, but very cool. And I think the sodas maybe only come with one. I don't know. I pretty sure they all come with two. I don't know why only one is pictured on the package. But these are very cool. Here is the UPC. These are starting to show up in stores. I picked mine up in Target yesterday and these were um, $12.99 each, which is a little higher priced than the regular Make It Minis. But these come with like full, like working machines. They're not machines because they don't actually, well, they are simple machines because there's levers involved, always remember. Levels, pulleys, axles, and screws are simple machines. Um, if I remember right from my physics, but it's been a long time. Um, so we have these four to choose from. There's only about 12 in a case, so it, it did seem pretty evenly split. So it's kind of cool. The espresso is what's on the outside of the box in case you're looking for it. So we're going to start with the espresso. So we're going to use our little a cuticle cleaner to get in there because I can never get these things to pop off right for me. Okay. So again, $12.99. I don't think there's any tables that come in these like we were getting for our displays. So that's why I have my little counter back here. And that is the uh, Glitter Girls kitchen uh, vlog set thing. I just took the sticker off the front of it. It was pretty easy to do. Cut. So, okay. All right. So we've got our first little packet. It's got our cups and our plates in it from the look of it. And we got our... Um, 
teal espresso machine. It's very cool. Like this is pretty large and I'm okay with that. I don't know, okay. So if you can see in there, it closes this off. We see those little holes that are opening up. That is where our resin is gonna come from. There's no button to push. It's literally just, you're gonna close it off and close it back. You put your resin in there. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put the whole bottle. We'll see what the bottle looks like. I appreciate that you don't have to pour it in there so it's not gonna be sticky all on the inside. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And I'm kind of glad I got the, um, the blue espresso because this is the one I was hoping I was gonna get which usually means I'll get the opposite one. Um, You've got a made fresh coaster, big enough for you to use for your drinks. And then we have got another one where these are packed in like sealed stuff. So I guess this is gonna be what our whipped cream is in. We've got our spoons, we've got our resin. And this is our little instruction packet. So we will. The espresso seems pretty obvious on the instructions what they're gonna be, but you never know really. Uh, of course they come with the standard read me first for the resin, it is toxic. Children should be supervised while playing with this. Uh, try not to get it on your hands. And we've got all of our options that we can get. So this is the one we got. So we got little yellow cups. I kind of want the little blue cups too, but I'm not gonna go try and find another espresso machine one. Uh, but yeah, so we've just got our resin and then our little whipped cream goes on top of the resin to seal in. This is gonna be the easiest one to assemble out of all of these just because it is, you don't have to layer anything, you don't have to worry about it other than the, um, other than making sure your whipped cream sticks. And honestly, you don't have to stick your whipped cream on there. You could dry your resin first and then just set your whipped cream on top because there is still gonna be a lip that that whipped cream will float around in. Um, so, we do get our instructions here on the back, as you can see. Okay, so it wants us to put the entire bottle in there, so that's good, once we open it. And you literally just twist like you would after it was finished brewing, and then you leave it out for 10 to 15 minutes in the sun. And then you can do a little drop to attach your um, whipped cream on there. So, let's see what all of the miniature versions look like. So again, we've got these big bowls. We don't need to keep these. You can. Um, they're not solid, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, they would make great like little like uh, paint bowls and things. Let's see. How do we get this off? Okay. Whoop. All right, so here's our whipped cream. It came out just like that. Very easy. You just get two little whipped cream swirls. We've seen these before on our ice creams and things like that in the regular Make It Mini line. We've got little spoons right there that go with our coffee, that go with our espresso. And we've got our Rise and Shine Coffee Co. As you can see, it's mocha flavored. So let's see if there is a, okay, so there's no, um, 
there's no seal that you have to break on the inside of these anymore, which is great. But I also worry about that because I was just going to show you how it fits in there. Uh, but let's see. So we can put it in kind of like that is just how it goes in and it fits in that lip. But it does have kind of like a screw in spot down there to where you're gonna want to um, like keep it there. I guess I could assemble it. It's not very sunny today, but I could try to do this one because it's really simple. Um, but what we want to do is make sure that we have our uh, everything ready to go before we unscrew that fully. Okay, these are adorable. Like, look at that. They've got a finger hold. Like, the plate is cute. There's actually a little white rim around it. It's actually white on the bottom, like real porcelain would be. So yeah, there's not much to the espresso mach machine, which I think is great, because it keeps things simple. But that also means that you have to be a little more precise with everything. So that's how we put it on there. Just like that, just like a real one. This espresso cup seems really big, um, but it's okay. It'll just be like a regular coffee. So we would do something like that. As you can see, it works with Ken. Nice normal size coffee cup. Like, it is definitely a larger coffee cup, that's for sure, but it's still fine. So that's it to open. So we'll do the assembly at the end. Like, I'll show you uh, how it's supposed to look here at the end of the thing, because we're going to open all these first. Um, so... Then we've got our juice. This is going to be probably our next easiest one to do, just because it's got, you know, just the juice and the ice. This one and the soda are pretty identical. We've assembled these before, so I wouldn't actually do this one. But, I'm intrigued to see how this mechanism works after seeing the espresso. Okay, again, it's all the same UPC. They come in an assortment. $12.99, which is a little high, but given the scale of everything they give you, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, that's the price of, like, a accessory pack from Barbie. Like, if we were getting a kitchen accessory pack. Okay, so I didn't really care which juice I got, so let's see which one we got. Okay, oh, so we got the lemonade. That's great, cool. Okay, so this is where our other stuff is. We've got our little plastic shield, and these little things clip on to the bottom of that. Okay, I thought these were separate, but I guess they're together. Oh, oh, they slide apart. Oh, that's kind of cool. That means you could slide the sodas and the juices all together. That's really cool. Okay, so there is a little push lever, and that's what closes it off for the ice and for the juice. Now there is a little insert that does come out. Um, this is what your resin is gonna fit into. But you wanna keep that in there. 
Not only because it gives the illusion of more lemonade in there, but just because it is a larger like presence. Okay, let's see. Are these slightly different widths or not? Let's see. No, there we go. All right. So we've got those assembled, not as detailed as the other one. And here's the lid that goes on top of the juice. But keep cool. Here's the lid that goes on top of the ice. We just dump our little packet of ice in there. And we go from there. And then we've got our made fresh little thing. This is going to have our resin and our ice. It's very easy. Oh, looks like we get like crushed Sonic ice, kind of. Okay. So that is a different ice texture than we usually get. We usually get the actual big cubes. And then we've got two keep cool little coasters for our drinks. Here is our lemonade right there. Again, it would just go inside the top part of this just like that, and then we put our lid back on. And you would theoretically be able to control the flow. I don't trust that the flow is gonna hold longer than like a few minutes. So if you are trying to like plan out how to do these, I would do them pretty quickly because this resin does dry in like 10 to 15 minutes once it's exposed to sunlight and UV. We've got a little uh, mini drink holder. We've got our very familiar drink like glasses. Just like that. Two of those each. And again. Two of those. So at the end of that, you're going to have something that looks kind of like this. Now this is an orange soda, so it's got the bigger ice cubes. Um, but this'll be the, this is what it is essentially. The cups are slightly different, as you can see, which is kind of cool. I wanna see if these cups also fit in this, they do. Um, so we've got slightly different cups but that's really all you're gonna do. You're gonna put your ice, you're gonna put your um, lemonade. You could dump the ice in there and leave it. Um, and it does say crushed ice on there, so that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that when I first opened it up. See, it says crushed ice. So you can connect it to the soda fountain maybe and uh, actually, no, I don't know. Actually, I don't see any little slides. So maybe you can't. That's depressing. Maybe you can only attach it to each other. Hmm. Wanna see if the other one says crushed or not. Yeah, they both say crushed ice. Mm -hmm. Weird. Um, so, kinda cool. A little more compact than our uh, then our espresso, but still kind of fun. Again, coasters, always fun. 
So let's take a look at our soda fountain. So again, we've done sodas before, uh, as far as the Make It Minis. So this isn't one that I would really assemble. It's one I would just use for set dressing, for like my mall play set and stuff like that. Uh, but I figured I'd review the whole line. I may assemble it because it has the crushed ice and I kind of want to see how that looks. But again, because the weather is so gross here, it would take forever to dry. Okay, so soda, we have two options. We have the lemon lime or we have the orange soda. Either way, I have both of those already. So we're gonna take a look. Okay, so I think I took the wrong side off. Um, so we've got our packet, got our resin and stuff, got our fresh coaster, we've got our glasses, oh, and we've got our red container that has got our lemon lime soda on it. Kind of fun, if I don't say so myself. Uh, So, we snap this one over here into the bottom. It's got the little grates that you'd find under a soda station. Again, if you guys can see that, yeah. Those are the same kind of things that we would get from the... Uh, Lemonade, same kind of openings. So kind of fun. So I think the espresso is the only really unique one as far as like the openings goes. But let's take a look at the other resins. So yeah, because I've already got a lemon lime soda, I'm probably not gonna assemble another one. This one doesn't have different ice. It's got the regular ice. So it has a wider opening. Um, it actually has the same cups, I think, that the other one has. Let's see. Okay. So, here is my lemon lime that I had in the regular series. Here is the cups for our new lemon lime soda, they're gonna be the same. So I wouldn't bother assembling that one right now uh, because I've already done something similar. But we've got a cup holder again, lids, and some straws. Again, very easy. You're just kind of dumping the resin in there and layering it with the ice. I would suggest layering it. It's easier than kind of shoving the ice cubes through, especially since they didn't give us any um, of the little tweezers this time around. So the only way you're gonna be shoving things around is with the, oh, what's the word? Uh, with the straws. So, you know, kind of hit or miss as far as that goes. Uh, we get Sun Fizz Co. coasters this time around. We get some nice big ice cubes again. Again, here's the difference between the crushed ice and the regular ice that we're usually getting. I actually prefer the regular ice. I feel like this is just gonna make the drink look dirty because um, it's not gonna go through the resin. The resin won't go through this real well. I think. I'm intrigued to set it up, but also a little worried about that. Um, and then we've got our lemon lime soda. Again, we take off the lid and we put the whole bottle into that spot. 
and then you just go like that. It'll sit flush once I take that lid off because there's a little lip inside there that it fits in, but I don't recommend taking that off unless you are actively going to be doing this because it is going to be messy. Um, this resin is not really designed for kids. It says eight plus, but that should be eight plus with supervision because this is kind of hard. Um, so we've got our milk tea and our boba stickers. These can attach, I can see that it looks like it can attach. So that's good. So we can attach the milk tea and the juice station together if we need to. We'll look at that. Now this one is more complicated than the others. Not only because you have to layer the ice and the boba, but because you have to do the stickers actually uh, like right on top of the cup. Okay, so let's see. All right, so we've got our top part taken off. We've got our cups and our carrier again with the straws. And we got our boba. So we got our Happy Sun Milk Tea. And there's the little boba sticker. Again, this is the same container style as the juice, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. I'm gonna take them right out. Uh, like it's the same mold as the juice container that we have. See, we've got those same little pegs. We've got the same part that comes out in the middle. Uh, and it just pops on right on top of that. But what we want to do is take our little things and make them snap on, just like that. Yeah, again, that is how your resin comes out. You've got to push back. And we've got our boba roller sticker thing. I'm a little terrified of this. It does look like they give you extras, but still, like, that mm, is terrifying. And then we just slide these two together, just like that. And if we wanna attach the boba to the lemonade, again, we just go just like that. And now these four are not going anywhere together. Uh, don't try to unattach these while they're full. That is my, that's my professional opinion at this point. <laughs> um, all right, why are you not popping on? Weird. Okay. That's weird. It's there. Um, so again, kind of cool. We've got another one of these coasters. And then we've got our other stuff that we're gonna look at. So, like I said, really don't try to do that. There is a little lip down here at the bottom to grab to pull your paper part off, which is nice. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. So we do get some coasters. We get some Boba Boba coasters. Kind of cute. We get another one of our 
regular big ice cubes. And we've got our milk tea. Very cute. I recommend taking off this label thing before you put it inside because it might affect how it sits in there. And then we've got our boba. These are just little pearls, like the tapioca pearls that you put in your boba. Uh, they're in a bag, it's not resealable. So uh, either open very carefully or cut with scissors. And let's take a look at our cups. That did not give me a good pull. Okay. All right. So again, we've got a drink holder. So at the end, if you get one of each of these, you wind up with three drink holders and six of the pretty much same cups. Well, four of the same cups. Oh no, actually not. Hold on. So we've got slight lip, large lip, and no lip. Okay, so it's three different varieties of cups, actually. So that's kind of interesting. And we do get a different kind of straw. So these are thicker straws that are designed to look like the boba would actually fit through them. So these are not our standard straws that we get. So that's kind of cool. And again, we would just put our boba inside like that without the lid or our milk tea, sorry, milk tea, not boba. Boba are just the word for the tapioca pearls and the style of drink. Um, so overall, these are pretty cool. Now, part of me wants to do them all just to show you guys how they're gonna wind up if they're going to be sticky and stuff like that. Um, but the other part of me doesn't want to do that. Yeah, because I'm worried they're going to be sticky and I really like the way these look. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Um, so I am going to do the juice one because that'll tell us how well these actually hold up. Um, like all three of these as far as leakage because it's the same type of resin. It's the same type of closure for all of those. So yeah, I'm going to do the juice one. I'm going to do the espresso one. I like the boba, but the boba is complicated and takes a while to do. So I'm not going to do that on camera. So these are all very cute. I'm glad I got the ones I wanted, all of them except for this one. I wanted the orange soda one, um, just because I like the blue better than the red. So let's take a look. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the, sorry, I've got to tilt you guys down so you can actually see what I'm about to do. Sorry about that rough transition. I got a new filming setup. Okay. So like I said, there are no, okay. So this part actually comes out too. So if you do need to clean it, you can. And then again, it's hollow in the middle. So we've got it closed. Again, you see that? See where it opens. Okay. Make sure your thing is closed before you put this inside. Again, I'm gonna peel this part off to make sure it doesn't affect how it lays. That is just your warning, resin is toxic warning kind of thing. Um, okay, 
So what I'm gonna do is kind of go like this first. I've got it open like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it in just like that, and then I'm gonna turn it over. Then we're gonna pop it back on so it closes nice and flat. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything leak out. That's good. And let's see how well it actually fills up. So, I wanna elevate this just a little bit more for you guys so you can see it. There we go. So I'm gonna go like that. And we're gonna see if this actually comes out. I have not seen one drip yet. Nope. Okay. Um, did I miss something? Are we supposed to warm this resin? It's open. Mm. No. Let's look at one of these then, because it is still not dripped out at all. Huh. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about uh, worry about things being too sticky. So it does show you how to assemble these. That is French, not English. There we go. Nope, that's Spanish. Where is my other one? Okay. All right, clean your machine. All right, so it shows you to take them apart, and let those dry in the sun. Use alcohol wipes to clean out the excess resin. Did I just like miss the resin wipes? Hmm. All right. So we still have nothing in our cup. We took it off. We uncapped. We uncapped it. Um, okay, so I don't see anything else about that. So I'm going to close that back up. As you can see, we've got a little bit of it right there in the front. And it's stuck right there in the bottom. So, after that experiment, I'm going to say go ahead and assemble these the regular way, because that is just kind of messy. Uh, I think I have alcohol wipes somewhere, uh, but okay, so make sure you have some alcohol wipes handy to do that, like baby wipes that are not alcohol free. Um, but yeah, the resin didn't make it into the cup. <laughs> so, and that's the easy one that doesn't rely on you doing constant pressure. So, okay. So either I would say um, warm the resin doing like a hot water bath to get it to come out smoother before you attempt this or just use these as props and assemble the way you would normally because that did not work. It could be because it's colder here right now because it is winter time and resin does need to flow, but that still should have come out a little bit 
at that point. Like, we still have a clean cup. So, okay. So, on that disappointing note, I'm going to say these are really cool. They are great add-ons to what's already a really pretty impressive line. So, if you just assemble these the way you would a normal surprise ball, like the same way I assembled all of these, then these are great. These are add-ons for your Barbies. Like, it's a big espresso machine, but it's also, like, it's still Barbie scale. Like, I've seen espresso machines that are that size, so... Um, so if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.